Welcome to another edition of Friday Night Spotlight. We're here with Maricopa head coach Chris McDonald uh, to kind of preview this week's game looking at uh, Apache Junction. But first, I'd uh, like to just go over uh, the Rincon game. I mean, a really close game for you guys. I mean, just really tight all the way through, except that it wasn't. <laughs> I, I mean, you really had a chance to show some of the different tools that you guys have on offense. Even playing um, Isaiah Pedro as the backup quarterback, I mean, it seemed like he really had a good game for you guys. Yeah, he had, he had an excellent game. I don't, I don't know if I really consider him a backup quarterback. Um, I probably, uh, first two games before Rencon should have done a better job of getting him in there and, and uh, utilizing his strengths a little bit more. You know, we've got packages uh, in our playbook set up for him and what he can do. And it, uh, it was just an opportunity kind of for, for him to, to kind of show what, what he's able to do. And within our offense as well, it's, it's kind of geared a little bit differently than when uh, Aaron's in there. Um, Aaron's got, you know, a different set of strengths and, and whatnot. And, but uh, Pedro, uh, he's, not, he's not a typical backup quarterback. Kid can play for a lot of schools. Sure. Um, one of the things that I saw, it was the first chance that I got to go out and actually uh, see you guys in action this year. And it's interesting because um, I know D'Angelo played a little bit on varsity last year as a freshman, right? Um, but you've got both D'Angelo Edgerton and uh, Cameron Sanders playing running back for you guys, both sophomores. Both of them real well-built kids for sophomores. I mean, physically seem like they've got a lot of tools already. Absolutely, you know, and and um, you know, it's good. It's a kind. It's kind of a catch-22. You know, it's they're sophomores right now playing varsity ball. They're, they're you know our primary ball carriers, and uh, so that could sometimes you know the inexperience a little bit, you know, can lead to uh, some mental mistakes and just some things like that. But on the flip side, you know, you've got uh, two more years with these guys to, sure. to kind of. Foster their development and, and whatnot, and they're they're uh, you know they're good players right now, and and uh, you know you just expect for them to get better every year. So you guys have Apache Junction coming up. It's a team that you guys actually haven't played before, despite it not being terribly far from from where Maricopa is located at. Um, Apache Junction last year they had a kid playing quarterback that really could throw the ball. Obviously he graduated, but I mean they they would put points up on people last year. I mean what do you what do you expect from this team this year? You know they are a uh, extremely physical team. They're going to be the most physical team that we've played at this point. Um, they two platoon on both sides of the ball, so um, you know they're going to be they're going to be well rested uh, throughout the game, or should be well rested. Um, you know they've got a big old line. They, they're scrappy. They're your typical Apache Junction uh, kids that you know have a high motor, uh, don't quit, um, extremely tough and physical. Um, and uh, you know they still spread you out, but like but like you said, they don't have the quarterback. Right. So they they're you know they, they want to run first, obviously out of the spread, and, and so that that's something that we've got to take care of first. But uh, um, you know it's it's a it's a re, you know I'm I'm assuming they're going to have a renewed focus, renewed energy coming in since this is the first section game. Sure. Anytime you start to get into conference play as opposed to um, non-conference, you know it, it kind of gives teams new life. And um, you know it, it, we, we've got to make sure that we match them physically up front on both sides of the ball. And you guys, you know, this is the third game of kind of a three-game road trip for you guys. Um, they are coming into the game 0 and 3. You guys are coming in 3 and 0. But it just if you look at that, you go, okay, maybe you guys have a pretty significant advantage. But it, they play a much tougher schedule. I mean, do you think yeah. that that's really going to make this a tougher game for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I, and that's what that's what we I keep telling our kids, and and I think our kids understand it. We'll find out more tomorrow night. But you know, they they they're they're not a bad football team. Their first game they played uh, when they were fully healthy. They played a Tucson High team that is, and and took them uh, lost by one score to Tucson High, who has since you know three and zero and has beaten uh, two quality yeah. football teams, and um, and so. AJ uh, had, you know, they, they dealt with a little rash of injuries these past two games. Backup quarterback they were dealing with. Uh, starting quarterback obviously went out. So they're dealing with a backup quarterback. Uh, their their second best playmaker has been out. So they they've been dealing with some some struggles of their own. And, and I think a, you know a lot of times that has um, um, you know played into in, into their struggles the last two games. They've turned the ball over too. So they've been moving the ball up and down the field on teams. They just seem to shoot themselves in the foot. Gotcha. Well, good deal. We got Rams and Prospectors coming up 7 o'clock Friday night out in Apache Junction. Last of a three game road trip for the Rams before they return home later this month. Coach McDonald, thanks so much for that. Thank you. Appreciate it.